Hello viewers, this is attorney Naresh Gehi and let's talk about the C1D visa program. And it's very sad to know that there are times wherein C1D visa holders come to America and they do not go back because of reasons beyond their control. And the sad thing is that I've met C1D visa holders and they've said, Mr. Gehi, unfortunately, I have to stay in America. What can I do now? So I would say that please do not worry if you overstayed your visa because there may be some hope for you. What is the hope you have if you entered on a C1D? The first thing you can do is you should consider political asylum if the country conditions are very bad. So for example, if you come from a country like Syria or from any country like Pakistan, and if you anticipate that there is a problem, then the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you consider the C1D visa program. So the C1D can be very helpful to you, especially like in cases where there are big problems in your country, like you know your country's at war. And if you cannot go back in a country because of your membership in a social group, you happen to be a gay, or you have other political reasons, or because of your religion, you'll be persecuted. Persecuted. Consider political asylum for C1D visa holders. Now, if you cannot consider political asylum, the second thing is get married. Yes, I know that you cannot adjust your status in the United States, but the good news is that you may be eligible for the C1, for the provisional waiver under the Obama program. So this means that if you entered on a C1D, even if you marry a green card holder, or if you marry a citizen, or if your parents are citizens or green card holders, they should start the application process for you. Because after the application process is done, after you finish the visa processing, after that, you should apply for the waiver, the provisional waiver of unlawful presence. And if you're successful, then you may qualify for a green card. After you meet with the consulate, you'll be happy and you still have basically, you know, acquired your green card in America. So if you're on a C1D, if you were stayed, if you're married, if you're parents, you may have a chance. Or if you want to apply for asylum, that may be a good bet for you. This is attorney Naresh Gehi on C1 visas. We'll be back again with our viewers with some more news from the world of immigration law.